Hi, I'm sure you, like most of the world right now, uh, have a great concern about what's going on with this coronavirus, how it's impacting our everyday lives. Me too. And one of the things that I really believe is happening in spite of all that we're seeing is that God is using this to let us know that we really need to reconnect to God in a real hard way, in a real worshipful way, not for show, not for, you know, entertainment, not for anything, but just to really go within ourselves, go deep within ourselves and allow our spirits to connect with the spirit of God. That's what I believe uh, we are to do. And because I um, am being obedient to the Lord to share this, I have also uh, been obedient to share some of the prayers, personalized prayers that I've used over the years, scriptural prayers from the word of God that have really helped me through dark times, through harsh times. And where I was able to continue to speak life to myself. And I want to share some of those with you. Um, there's no cost for them. It's just going to be in a PDF where you can download it or, or you can print it out or you can read it on your computer. But these are just prayers. And I believe that um, if you, you know, are in agreement with me that this is a time to really reconnect with God, our Father in heaven, and to really let him know that we love him and that we appreciate him and that we appreciate this earth that he has given to us. That we, you know, we um, just, just whatever way that you do that um, is what he wants. He wants us to worship him in spirit and in truth. And there's no formula. There's no particular right or wrong way it's just really about what's in your heart and that you cry out to the lord that you cry out to him in whatever way that is for you so i just wanted to encourage you and let you know that there's a lot of news going around there's all sorts of misinformation going out i was even tricked recently with something that seems so credible and uh, i started sharing it with people and all of that and found out it was part of a hoax and so just be mindful that this is an opportunity for many people um, who may not have the right intentions to uh, do things to get you off track but i can promise you that you won't go off track seeking the face of god right now so with that i just wish you the best i pray the best for you and your family through this time i speak peace to your your lives to your mind to your soul to to uh, your surroundings I, I speak safety and protection upon your loved ones upon you upon all that pertains to life and godliness for you uh, and i speak this um, with um, with my whole heart <laughs> i speak this because I feel that it's important that you hear this message, that God wants your heart. God wants your heart. He wants your mind. He wants all of you right now. And I believe that by yielding to the Spirit of God and allowing yourself to be reconnected with God, even if you've been connected all along, never we never get to the point that we have it all, right? So he's always willing and always able to refill us every day with new hope and new, new dreams and new, um, new expectations and even increasing our faith. Uh, so I just shared that with you and hope that it ministers something uh, to your soul and your spirit this morning. Thank you for your time and I'll be in touch.